Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive... He's gone for it! Goal! Russia! He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. Russia have an early lead. Good start. Nice. Denmark have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Golovin plays it out to the wing. Zhirkov delivers. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Dashing forward at pace. Jurgensen drives it forward, hoists it forward. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Jorgensen. Across the field it goes. It's being played forward. A real chance to break. Golovin. He gets past his man. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box. And that speaks of little ambition. out on the left now he's making good use of his strength there just refuses to be out muscled Golovin Golovin could try cutting inside here look at the goal a terrific save from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And out to safety. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But it still had its moments. And ultimately produced just one goal. A very decent game up to them. Any strong opinions on the first half? 
And I think there's plenty to be pleased about with that first half display in terms of the score and, and overall approach. Russia, they're in at half time with a slender one goal lead. And the shot! And yes, it's there! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish, too. Russia have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. Has a pop! And it's there! And surely that settles it! And that really is so, so impressive. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's, it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Russia take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Header! Just needed better contact. Patricia. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Jikia. Forward pass. Tries to get it forward quickly. In towards the middle. Kasper Schmeichel has that under control. And it's played forward. Has a hit! They've done it! Players ecstatic, fans delirious. This is utopian. Russia are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Denmark can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Russia tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Shoots! Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. And the shot! Ball's loose, and he's after it. Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. Russia really could have done without this. Oh, he saved it! And that's one back! A time for a cool head. And that is precisely what he showed. Well, the keeper certainly guessed right, but there was enough power to find the target. Denmark playing for pride here, and that's surely beyond them. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. He's close for goal! They've scored! Well, there was to be no other outcome. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So, just the concert. Goes for goal! Delaney. So that's it. It is all over. Russia did it, terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. Thank you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim. Russia were victorious here, and rightly so. When you're allowed free licence to strut your stuff in wide positions, you can only see one winner. And I just really liked what I saw here. Well, thanks to Jim, we both wish you a very good evening.